Good evening. Welcome to the Kingdom Cultural Center. Yours truly is here today. And um, I want you to hang out in the Constitution, in the 15th chapter of John. Uh, we're going to start with the first verse. But I'd like to talk to you about little things that I've learned today concerning uh, more enlightenment of the kingdom. And how it effectively works and how you can embrace it more. Like I said in times past, if you take a moment to embrace uh, the word, uh, what you'll find is that the Constitution comes to you much clearly. You will understand it better. But the concept of the kingdom is the key to understanding Constitution. It's the key. And I've, I've said in so many other cases that um, obedience, that's the key word, is the key. Um, submissive is another word, another thing to the kingdom, being submissive, obeying it, and follow up, follow up, and uh, follow, following, um, follow ups in the word. Now, we're, we're blessed and we're fortunate to have the word in print, and um, it's something that. Once you have read and repeated within yourself at least seven times, it gets into your spirit, it gets into your mind, you remember it, and you begin to uh, transform your mind in how the character of God is. Um, I want to say something to you now. Like This is just a fireside chat I call. Um, Jesus was God's, uh, was Jesus's, was Christ's uh, earthly name. I want to clarify some things here so you'll understand. Mary conceived with a child, but she did not birth the Son of God. I want to repeat that. Now, I, I'm glad many of you are going to I'm really, as you say, blow some of your mind. But Mary birthed a child, but she did not birth the Son of God. But you understand that. <laughs> and it's really going to, I know some of your world, you're, you, some of you, that uh, you're so religious and you believe that Mary birthed the Son of God. No, she didn't. She birthed the child. The Son of God was already in existence. God, Jesus, needed a body <laughs> to come here. And the process was through a human process. I want to say something else to you. Um, any spirit without a body, I know many of you are going to have questions. If you have any questions, send them to my website. It's uh, kingdomcitizens.org. Um, any spirit that doesn't have a dirt body, what we live in now, is illegal on this planet. Now, in about a month, I'll give many of you a whole history, a whole lesson on that in, in five segments. Um, let's see. A body here, our body is dirt. You don't have a spirit. Now, I didn't stutter. You don't have a spirit. You are spirit. And you live in a body. You are spirit. And you live in a body. You don't have a spirit. Okay. Prior to Jesus coming on this planet, the Holy Spirit did not dwell in any body. Why? Because the body was unclean. I'm giving you here golden nuggets 
you have any questions, just give it to me, send an email me, and I'll be more than glad to help you out with it and give you scripture and what, how things came about. From the beginning, the planet Earth, as we know it, was given to man. It was given to man. It was man's domain. Where the fall came in at is when man, the leader, failed to obey the command that the king left. That's where it was. Now I want to tell you something else. Uh, the snake at one time, the serpent at one time, these little fireside chats for you so you can understand, uh, stood erect. He stood erect. He was um, just like man. He stood erect. But because he deceived Eve, I want you to understand something. He deceived Eve. And man disobeyed. Why? Because God left Adam, Adam, in charge. That's why I have a website, or on my website, I have one category. It said League of Kingdom Men. Men are to be men. Nowadays, the men that you look like, they look like they're cookie cutty, uh, something out of a out of a paper doll. Everybody looks alike. Every man looks, every male looks alike. I want to tell you this, but I, I, I always, it's my little pet peeve, that um, every male doesn't constitute him being a male, a man. There are things that go into a man that makes whom, who God created what he is, not what these people have now in this world system, what a man is. A man is designed to be masculine, uh, intelligent, uh, follow God's uh, protocol uh, to the letter, and he does this through the Spirit. Now, I'm going to say something else. When Jesus, the man, I want you to understand something. Jesus, the man. Do you ever wonder why? <sighs> you ever wonder why Jesus called himself Son of Man? If you notice in some of my writings, a lot of my writings on my website, you will find that I say Jesus the Christ because they are two separate entities. But yet when he was down here, they were one. But they were two separate entities. Jesus was the man. Christ was the Spirit. Christ came and then dwelled into a body, which he called Jesus. Uh, some of them call it uh, Ashua. But he was the man, the Spirit of God, of God incarnated into a man. You must understand these uh, terms and concepts. Now, I'm going to have to depart from you for a little while, momentarily, until uh, our next session, next session. But I want you to stay focused on what I've said. Write these notes down because it's very important. And uh, maybe in the next session, I'll bring it up to you again. Until next time, you have a nice day.